Hello, I'm John McNamara, I'm the Information Architect from IBM Messaging, and I'm here today with Steph Pugsley. Hello, Steph, how's it going? Hi, John, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, now, we're to talk about the new good operating practices for IBM Integration Bus. Uh, yes, thank you, John. Um, here in IIB, we're starting to publish these good operating practices. Rather than just giving our customers reference material and letting them find their own way, we're trying to give advice and recommendations and guide them through various aspects of IIB. Okay, fellas. So, um, are they like scenarios? Uh, oh, good question. Thank you for asking, John. Uh, not quite. We already have the scenarios in the docs. Um, they provide like a concise description of how you might use a feature of the product to achieve a goal. They're a bit hand-holding, A to B to C, to, to achieve a goal, and then they let you use that as a base for your own work. What we're doing with the good operating practices is taking a subject and applying the combined knowledge of developers, testers, and the service teams. These experts have all worked on customer systems and know the real world problems that our customers can run into. Mm. So these good operating practices, they aren't intended as a one size fits all solution like the scenarios are. Instead, they share common approaches to solving common problems based on real environments and customer feedback. So as the IIB evolves, as hardware changes and memory becomes cheaper and more readily available, then we're gonna update the operating practices to take advantage of all these new changes. So that way our customers can maintain a level of service that they expect. Well, that sounds phenomenal. So what's taking so long to get these out to the customers? Well, firstly, it's always difficult to get all these experts together, to get their expertise down on paper. And then when they do come together, we need to know what topic they should be focusing on based on customer feedback, rather than just coming up with, oh, wouldn't it be good if? Mm -hmm. We just don't want to fall into that trap of thinking we know what fits our customer best. And then it's the process of actually testing the recommendations in hard working environments to make sure they work as we intended. Tip top. So, all right then, what have you got for us? Well, the first one is configuration recommendations to reduce memory usage. The major influence on the amount of memory that's used in processing data is the combination of messages that are being processed and how the flow is designed. However, the configuration of the integration broker runtime also has a significant effect on the memory usage, and so we can't ignore that either. We're going to talk about um, deploying message flows to integration servers. So every message flow has a memory requirement that depends on the routing or transformation logic that is run and the messages that are being processed. So if you use an extra instance of a message flow, the memory usage obviously rises, but the memory usage for the instance is lower than if you deploy another individual flow to a different integration server. Don't worry, this is explained in the documentation, don't mm -hmm. worry. Um, if you deploy integration flows that are different from each other to an integration server, then more memory and real memory is used by the integration server. Right. Uh, so we offer recommendations on how this works and how to measure the memory requirements while you plan your flow. Uh, then we move on to configuring the JVM settings for the integration server. So when an IAB ships, we have the default settings for the JVM and they're probably going to be sufficient for most situations. But as your requirements on the message flow logic or node grows, then those settings are going to be adjusted to ensure continued levels of service. So we give some guidance on what these settings should be and some information on how you use the garbage collection statistics. Then we're going to move on to the balancing the number of integration servers. So while an IIB integration node can, theory, support any number of integration servers, Practical limitations such as the amount of memory or swap space do force a maximum limit on us to ensure continued levels of service. So we talk about the effect on memory that the number of integration servers has on the integration nodes, as well as the practical reasons why you shouldn't just throw all your integration servers into a single node. And finally, we have a strategy section that ties in with this balancing. We describe when you should group message flows together and when you shouldn't, how you might divide up your flows based on the work that they do, and the memory costs of actually deploying those flows. Well, Steph, thank you very much. Um, so the final question then really is, where can we get hold of these good operating practices? Well, John, they're available in the IIB V9 docs on the uh, Knowledge Center product documentation. In the scenario section, uh, we've included links below this. There's an article in the IIB Developer Center where you can download a PDF version if you prefer. If you don't visit the IIB Development Center, you really should, uh, even if it's just to visit the answer section, where the experts will answer your questions. Again, the link will be below. And please send us feedback about what you want guidance on. You can provide feedback through Knowledge Center or through the IIB Development Center or on Twitter. Um, again, there'll be a Twitter ID at the bottom of this, so follow that and you'll be notified about the release of fixed packs, release of new docs and new videos, and new publications like these good practices. 
Um, we're putting a lot of focus on this for the rest of the year, and there'll be more out very, very soon. But they do take time to make the reasons I mentioned, and we have to test them thoroughly, obviously. So please let us know what you want to see, and we'll get the experts all together in a room. Thank you, buddy. That's awesome. Thank you, John. That's coming. Cheers now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.